is Hidakiri Karta and welcome to Resident Evil Director's Cut DualShock version. And yes, I'm doing this version of the game. Alright, and we will be actually playing as Chris for this run. I'll be playing as Jill on a different time, probably when I do the DS version of the game. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the control. So, controls are pretty simple for this game. It uses the tank controls that most people hate about these types of games. Up moves forward, down moves back, left and right move, well, your character left and right, to their left and to their right. It takes a bit of getting used to, but I've played these games enough times that I've stopped having issues with it. Also, despite the fact that this is the director's cut, um, the only things that it really adds is an extra mode, uh, more gore, though the opening is still censored for whatever reason, including all the cutscenes like this one. Normally, you can see Kenneth's head just fall off. And, and we're just going to ignore the zombie for right now. Because all we got is a knife. And the knife is pretty much almost completely useless in this game. It's much better in the DS version where they did the same thing with Resident Evil 4 and mapped it to one of the shoulder buttons. Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? And this is how we get our gun. Jill's mode is a little easier because she gets two more inventory spaces than Chris's six. And she starts off with her gun. Not that it really makes much of a difference. Anyways, we are going to start heading upstairs first. Most of the doors down here are locked anyway, so we can't really do much, to be completely fair. Yep, Zambos. Um, yeah. Flipping gun might be helpful. This. Oh, another one. Okay. This is actually where the knife is actually useful for finishing off the down zombies. And that's pretty much it. It's also very useful against the dogs, but everything still unlocks the dogs, so yeah. Okay, come on. Hopefully I can actually get this pushed over before that's okay, I'm good. We can just ignore that zombie for the rest of the game. Typically, the uh, ammo is very scarce at the beginning of the game, and typically the best way to deal with that is to just run past pretty much everything. Oh, oh, okay, good. These ones just falling on me, so no, no big problems. There's more doors up here, but I can't open them yet. I don't have the keys. I think it's the helmet key for those ones. And we want to go in here. Ah. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. Okay, so now we met Rebecca. You can meet her at another point in the game. 
Um, but that would require you to go to this room regardless. I'll mention that when I get to that said room. Buy that. Oh, and sword knife, because we don't need that right now. Might be useful in the future, but yeah. And our sword key is right here. Right. Actually, are there any ink ribbons on this thing? No. Ink ribbons seem... Alright, anyways. So do you have anything to say, Rebecca? I wonder if everybody is... Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Yeah, this is actually kind of an important decision. Um, you pretty much have to be pretty much be nice and agree with Rebecca any chance you get. Otherwise, she will stay in the mansion, um, which will pretty much um, is a death sentence for her. If you, if she leaves the mansion, then uh, she, basically you get the good ending here. That you're guaranteed to get the good ending, otherwise you will have to try to save her. And I think if you do too badly, uh, she dies regardless of what you do. Alright, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Alright. So the sword key actually only exists for Chris's... Uh, uh, for Chris, um, Jill gets the lockpick, which works. This, ah. uh, armor, okay. Lockpick works exactly the same way as the sword key does. Ah, shit. I actually do want to clear out this hallway because I will be coming back through here more than once. This one actually has auto aim. Uh, okay. Oh shit! No ah. reason he didn't shoot. Dead yet? Okay. Yeah, if they're still alive, they'll you'll just auto aim right on top of them. So it's uh, pretty easy to keep track of them. Oh damn it! There's another one right here. Um, let's just ignore him for right now. I get more ammo. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, Cliff, <laughs> Cliff. Anyways, okay. Anything else in here? Nope. I know there's. Yep, over here. Stockpile these for later. Oh, yeah. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott, the guard, Alias, and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. He told me to feed, it, feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. We'll be seeing those things later. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder, those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By the way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went uh, to the med medical room because my back was all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me I didn't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. 
They have been quiet since this morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble with the higher up if the higher ups find out. May fifteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Even though I didn't feel uh, well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. G Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. Right, that's a rather infamous one, too. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, one of the biggest differences in the DualShock version of, of the director's cut is they changed the entire soundtrack. It's... Nowhere near as good as the original. Okay, and we got this door unlocked now. And in fact, this was the version of the game I own. So, um, I actually uh, thought this was the actual soundtrack, which is kind of funny when we get to the basement. Right. How much inventory? Okay, I got, I'm good on inventory, so we can do this. Music sheet. Right, and we use it right here. And Chris unfortunately can't play the piano or read music. Um, if you're Jill, you just do this straight up. me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Wait, what is that? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? And obviously you have to let her do this because this is part of a puzzle. See? Just relax and play. All right. Okay. And I think you just, you don't even have to wait very long. I don't remember exactly if you had to do anything specific. from like leaving this area and such so the zombie's right over here so let's drag him out real quick and sh ah shoot camera ah yeah the arm falling off is part of the director's cut and it's still alive okay it's dead Kenneth from the Star's Bravo team. He's now become a mere shadow of his former self. Alright, and he has two sets of bullets on him. Alright. I believe we can... I could just grab the gem right now that I think about it. Just get that taken care of. No, there, right there. Let's 
limited inventory space is really painful. <laughs> means we have to take out the zombie that's right here. Come on. That might have been a wasted shot. Okay. That's still wasted as very few bullets as absolute possible. that here and then, yeah wind crest okay um, I'm just gonna leave this here for right now we can just pick it up later we have to come back through this hallway eventually anyways I think Rebecca's ready now, so I'm gonna go grab the crest over here. Um, the fireplace right here. Ah, once I can stop getting stuck on things. The emblem, whatever. She's sounding a lot better. Okay, I guess she's not done yet. Marcus playing the piano. I have no idea how long it actually takes. I think you just need to come in and out a couple of times. here and then come back out she might be ready Let's see there's, there's nothing else I can do with those either that or it's just straight up time based Okay. Crap. My inventory's full. I mean, I get... Well, yeah, technically I don't need that right now, I suppose. Let's come back later. space and such. Uh, armor. Yep, armor key. floor. Yes. Alright then. Sword key. And it's done. Yes. We do not need it anymore. If the game tells you you don't need it anymore, then you don't need it anymore. Okay. Oh, yeah, this room. Okay. Creepy stuff. Okay. Well, there's some bullets in one of these spots. Maybe... Maybe on this thing? Nah. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm just gonna run through here. Alright. 
we're not going back through this hallway anymore, so there's no point in taking out the dogs. Okay, that's another armor door, I believe. Oh yeah, small keys. Yeah, Jill also does not get the small keys because her lockpick just automatically just takes care of that. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. No, toilet, nothing at the sink. Nope. Anything here? Nope. Whatever then. See, uh, going in this room is pointless right now because you need the shotgun. You need broken shotgun for it. Uh, nope. Unlock the door. Oh, okay. This guy will. Yeah, we're gonna be going through this hallway multiple times, so it's best to get get rid of this one. Still alive. Second shot. Ah, oh, God! I wish I had the time to enjoy these pictures. Yeah, now's probably a bad time, Chris. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. That was a waste of a shot. Okay, there's some green herbs right here. Okay. Actually, is there any. Save your progress with these. What do you use? Nah. Okay, I guess there's no ink ribbons in that thing either. Okay, let's store those away. We don't need that on us. I think I can manage without that on me, so let's put that up there for now. Just to keep some inventory space open. We need this. Well, since we're going back over where Rebecca is going anyways, this helps. Let's see. There's a there's there's another door all the way down there, but I'm not going to go in that one. It's kind of pointless. Just gets you a map that I don't need. There's also another door down there too, but I think it needs another armor door. Ugh, get more zombies. He's still alive. Now he's not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. A well arranged? Nope. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. Botany book. As you may know, there are many plants that have medicinal effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. 
In this book we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medicinal properties. Each herb has a different color and different effects as uh, medicinal plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it's mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. That's basically just telling you uh, combining the plants will make, it, make them stronger. This just leads me back to that previous hallway, although I think it's only a one-way room. Alright, two. And I know there's another zombie in this hallway somewhere. That's another armor door. And I think that one is, yeah, that one is two. Zombies have a lot of health in this game. Oh god! Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal soon. And I'm almost out of bullets. Crap. Let's see, so we're back in this room. Let's take a quick peek over here while I'm thinking about it. 